guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a long time since I last filmed. And the exciting thing is, I'll be doing this look, a full face of Korean makeup products. And with my new ring light, you can see it from the reflection from my eyes. And I hope to create more better quality content for you guys. So stay tuned for that. And in the meantime, let's jump right in into this look. I'll be using the Laneige Water Glow Base Corrector. What I really like about it is that it's really lightweight and it contains um, SPF. So it's great for days where I know I'm going to be indoors. Using Etude House Fix and Fix Primer. It's a pore primer. And uh, just apply around my nose area. Mamon Brightening Cover Watery Cushion. This is a new cushion that they have recently launched. And um, have you heard that they will be having their very first boutique at Takashimaya? They have a powder version which is more matte and it dries down to a powder finish but I prefer this watery cushion because I think that it looks a little bit more natural and not so matte the coverage is pretty light I mean like typical cushion so you will still need to use a concealer to cover up those blemishes I'm setting it with my favorite Innisfree No Sebum Love Powder it's really good if you have extremely oily skin I highly recommend you to check this, check this one out this is in the compact form which is really good for touch ups when you're outside or you know when you're traveling it comes with a loose version and that one's really really good as well and it's so much cheaper it's like $10. Innisfree launched their My Palette a few months back, I think in July or something like that. And I did swatches and reviews of all these shadows on my blog. So I'll put it in the link. I'll put the link in the description box down below so you can go ahead and check it out. So I'll be using this shade, this matte shade in number three, and this matte shade in number four as my base. And by the way, I have already applied um eyeshadow primer so this is like a smaller version where you can fit four different eyeshadows it comes with a mini brush but uh, I left it on the table I'll be using this shimmery shade over here it's really really glittery It's like chunky kinds of glittery shade in number 25 and along my outer V. Flower Eye Break, Flower Pop Eye Break Eyeshadow in 03. Review as watchers is also up my blog. This shade. My mascara using Etude House Co Fix Mascara. This is my Holy Girl Mascara. It's really good and it holds the lashes really well. Lash Eyebrow Cushion Cara. This is like a cushion form for your eyebrows. This is really good. It's really good if um, you're not very good at brows like myself. I'm not very good at brows. But uh, yeah, it's just super easy to use because it's not like very intense or so. So you can slowly build it up. Kill Black Waterproof Pad Liner. I'm us usually a gel type of person so uh, Oh, this is so good. This one turned out well. Okay, it's definitely very pigmented. A new blush duo in number six, Wood Blossom. So I was like, hey, contour shade, I'll be using this one. And this is a Laneige brush in number 06. See, it's like a spot contouring. So yeah. contour my nose then this Mamon flower pop blusher in number 02 this is like a really nice kind of shade I do blush duo in number 4 California coral this shade yeah. doesn't match but we'll just <laughs> pick two 
using this purple shade from Innisfree just to soften up the eyeliner so I'll be using this shade it's the same number 03 palette that I used earlier this shade brighten up my eyes and like I'll balance out the finish off this makeup look I'll be using this Zoom 37 Dear Floral Enchanted Lip Cream in number 06 it's a very nice kind of lip balm it has a very nice taste to it and by the way um, they opened their third beauty counter at Isetan Tampines recently so if you live in the east do hop over to check it out so this is the finished look i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i'll see you very soon in my next video bye